I want to just. Oh! <laughs> Welcome back to Moto Photo Adventures, everybody. We have a great long-term review for you about some amazing chairs for your campsite. From cheap to middle to expensive, from unique to the tried and true camp chair that everyone is familiar with, we have one of each, and we're gonna tell you a little bit about each one. We should probably sit down. And... All right, All right go. no, you go, no. no, this way. I wanna <laughs> just, <Whoa! laughs> <laughs> Thanks for setting this up. <laughs> we appreciate all the support with the subscribes and the likes and the comments. If you want to continue on with a bit of financial support, visit our t-shirt shop and become a MoFo, a Moto Photo Fan Club t-shirt owner. I am a MoFo. I keep getting in stuck in a, I keep getting stuck in a hole. Hang on. All right. It's so, just soft sand. It is just, it's soft, it's soft <laughs> soil. Yeah. And it, and it rained just the other day a lot. A lot. I need a get your the name of your chiropractor if you don't mind i don't have one all i do is i just grab a door frame <laughs> does moto photo adventures have uh liability Chiro insurance no but we should have a chiropractor sponsor sponsors right. we have sponsors well, you probably need one really badly now that you fell over in the chair my point did you throw your back out exactly yes you're just not catching you, up are you that. saying we should throw the chair out uh, no. No, was it user error? User we error. We should probably describe after the yes. after that fade to black and, and what if we threw a commercial in there, what just happened to you? Just so you guys know, that was completely unscripted. Jason put this thing together and he didn't pull it to the last click. I did not. No, it, I was trying to be expedient and quick and, and I, you know, the whole Three Musketeers thing and it didn't <laughs> click. See, but that does throw a user error potential. Uh-huh make sure that that happens or or this happens this happens and did you notice the click chair is the one that didn't click it's the only one that does click <laughs> or doesn't click as the case may be is it click or click it, it depends on if it's made in france <laughs> well I tell think, me a little bit about your chair okay so this chair is the ozark trail and it is the basically the 25 dollar walmart version I bought this one at the very beginning of our Transamerica Trail for our Transamerica Trail trip. And it is as you would expect. You saw it get put together. It's made out of durable stuff. It's, what is it? Two and a half-ish pounds, 2.2 pounds-ish, something like that. 2.2, correct. Um, and it's, you know, it's a reasonable size. It's the size that, if you're not getting the lounge version, it is of, an, of reasonable size. And it does uh -huh. come with the pouch. Basically, is, they're all the same size, essentially. Yeah, that's that's pretty much true. Yeah. Except the click, their promotional marketing <laughs> is it's the size of a water bottle, <laughs> and only if you need a gallon of water. It must be a it so, must be a two liter. That's gallon what I'm saying. It's got to be a two liter <laughs> bottle of water because that's how big it is. But yeah. like, I mean, this is your tried and true normal everyday chair. I mean, Nothing I'm sitting wrong in with it, it. Right, it's never let me down. I'm, it's not broken. Yep. Everything's fine. You it broke a have, lot of things on the Trans America Trail, but that was not one of them. Yes, that's true. That's true. But um, this one does have small feet, so it sinks into the soil as it's happening right now. I'm starting yeah. to go a little diagonal Dutch angle, as they call it. But um, that is the biggest problem with yeah. that one. And I am now also, it, the fabric stretches over time. Oh, and so okay. now I'm, you know, with a little bit of wiggle, I can feel the verticals the, on, on my hips. Especially if you're uh, leaning back or something. 
but there again, it depends. I mean, you know, how much do you use it? Where do you mm -hmm. take it? How much you want to invest in it? You know, are you trying to get a Barco lounger? You can try to get a stool, you right, know, so right, right. 25 bucks. It's not bad. So what are you sitting I, Well, I will mention just briefly, uh, my biggest concern, because I used to have one very similar, mm -hmm. it wasn't an Ozark, but a similar off-brand. My biggest concern was the hub uh, where all the legs and stuff poke into is plastic. So I thought over time that that would get brittle and break, but it never has. So I suppose if you leave it out in the sun, it would get brittle. But could be, could be. Now on mine, the little plastic feet mm. have cracked and fallen mm. off. Oh, well that doesn't so, help either. So now I'm basically a a pole just digging into the ground with my old one. Yeah, so. that's that's no that's not going to work that's at all. That's no bueno. Yeah. All right. So then the next up in the financial scale, uh -huh. this being twenty five dollars. I mean, I'm sure that there's a number of them between these two, but these are the ones we have. Now this one is uh, a pretty good value. It's on sale now for what eighty five bucks or at something. At the time like that. of this recording, it's eighty five dollars. Uh, the normal price was uh, one twenty. One ten. One ten. One ten. One hundred nine ninety nine. Okay. But my grandfather said, "Never be fooled." By the 99. <laughs> it's 110. It's really 110. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? Marketing works. Yeah, I guess so. But it's a pretty cool chair. It's a neat concept. I like the umbrella theory. Mm -hmm. um, the one problem or a problem that I have with this particular one is if you, if you look at it carefully, everything comes together here in the middle as opposed to being kind of stretchy, stretched out. Mm -hmm. And so you kind of feel like you're sort of wobbling on this little... Oh, that center point. That center point. It doesn't feel quite as... It holds 300 pounds. It's rated to 300 pounds. This that, one's that 250. One, that one's only rated to 250. Mm -hmm. So it is rated to, you know, be substantial, but it just doesn't feel quite as substantial, I guess. As and I can watch, I'm looking at the bottom, watching the, the bottom, kind the of four rolling. legs that come yeah. down to the hub rock around like that while you're doing it. And the same problem along the same vein is on, on top of it feeling wobbly. As you sink down into it, the fabric allows your buttocks to touch the the metal posts so you you don't feel completely suspended anymore you feel like you're bumping up against the back and boy howdy if that thing breaks and you go down on that center hub i can speak to that all i'm saying <laughs> is whew, that would be a pain oh, in the butt oh that that yeah, would be not good be yeah, yeah yeah all right so uh, how much does that one weigh this one weighs right at three pounds what was that one this one was two and some change the chain two two point two this one's at three pounds, so it is by far the heaviest of the bunch. Right. Approximately the same size, but it's the heaviest. I could have sworn that it's made out of the legs or the hubs are probably made out of some sort of cast steel, but the specs say it's aluminum. Aircraft grade aluminum. aluminum. As but a matter they, of fact. they must just be really thick hunks of aluminum because when you pick them up, you can feel the difference in weight three pounds versus 2.2 pounds. I suppose it needs to be that too because of the way it's designed in that center portion rather sure. than a triangle. You know what I'm saying? Now, why did they design it that way? So that it could fold up like an umbrella. That, that's the thing, isn't it? It is. It so is the you're trading thing. one for another. You're getting yeah. the ease of setup. All right, so we got a rock, paper, scissors for the moonlight. Ooh. Ready? <laughs> oh. Oh. No, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, you got rock it. smashes scissors. Yeah. Don't, don't even try to change the rules. All right, so this is the ne Nemo Moonlight. Mm -hmm. And this is by far the most expensive one. This is 160 bucks. Yeah. 159.99. Where'd you get it? 160 says my grandfather. This it comes from uh, Moto Camp Nerd. I love those guys. Yes. This, the, the, ben and those. Mary at Moto Camp Nerd. If you were looking for anything motorcycle slash camping related, yes. nobody else better in the business to steer you in the right direction. Right. And this was a suggested item and we took their word for it. Love it. Uh, the feet on this one are larger so they don't poke into the ground yep. like the Ozark. Mm -hmm. The the cross member underneath and the way that it's put together with the four down and the four legs off of a center horizontal beam does mm -hmm. not give the rocking sensation that the center hub does of the click. And your butt doesn't hit the hit the post. Not yet. So oh, it again, won't. It, it's well, we got what three or four inches right there. Good before, clearance. Right. Um, the fabric itself is very comfortable. Mm -hmm. These have I don't know if it uh, uh, like contributes to it, mm -hmm. but they have seams where it mm -hmm. all kind of hard turns and things like that. But mm -hmm. this one kind of does More sort like of a like sling. a like a Adirondack or, or a hammock. Like yeah. Right. And also the big bonus here is 
these totally adjustable you pull them forward and it re raises the back of the chair so you're sitting up benefit uh-huh want to benefit while you're eating um, while you're eating your cooking your and camp eating. stove yep. and then once your belly's full and you have to unbuckle that belt <laughs> uh. <laughs> You've never had that sensation in your life. What do you weigh, a buck, buck 60? If I eat a half a pound of meat, I'm full as heck. Um, so, so that is kind of cool. Now, the, the thing about it is, yes, it's comfortable. Yes, it feels good. Yes, it's probably strong. It, it is um, less pound, uh, packed weight. It is weight. The, the lightest of the bunch by far. Right. Um, Just under one, two pounds. 1.2 or something like that, I think it was. Or one no, no, one. no, no, no. It's a pound 14 ounces. Pound 14 ounces. Just under two. That's right. Yeah, Just six, under two 16 pounds. ounces equals a pound millimeters divided by the centimeter squared. Multiplied by XYZ. And, and you get... Double take. Yes. And you get naught. So, um, so yes, this is the lightest. Yeah. It feels the most comfortable. It has the reclining ability, mm -hmm. but it is the most expensive. So what is it worth to you? Hey, man. You always get what you pay for, right? I suppose that that's true. Uh, would you like to check out the Nemo before we close out to. this video? I would love to. Would you like it in the upright or the reclined position? Uh, upright, please. Uh, but it's easier know, to sit down that way. I want to. I want to tell them about my favorite part about this chair. Oh, you have a favorite part? I love this part about okay, this chair. Okay, tell me about the favorite part. See, this one sits up very tall and it high does. too. This, yeah. That one's very low. This one's medium. It's very, very Goldilocks. Uh, and and to be fair, I want to tell you my favorite part about this chair too. I forgot to tell you that, but right. this one has pockets. Pockets. I mean, you know, that's yeah. clever. I, I I mean, they all they go all the way down to the bottom, which is weird, but yeah, you know. Okay. You throw your sunscreen in there or whatever while you're sitting out Jacket. at the beach. Jacket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't even. You know what? I've had this chair for a minute, and I didn't even really take advantage of that particular. Good plus. place to stuff your phone while you're not surfing Facebook. And then never, ever, ever find it again. <laughs> so, in a pocket that i forgot about hey you know what i'm gonna tell i'm gonna tell a funny joke I, not a joke but a huge life story you sure have built it up my favorite thing about cammy my beloved wife who i love to death is three four or five times a day she will go call my phone <laughs> oh yes to find it she, yes she'll she'll go in the bedroom to find something you know get the laundry something leave her phone sitting on the bed she'll you should go get into her one of those little trackers on the back that you can i should but it's fun calling her phone from the house fair while enough. we're both there fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> i'm exaggerating but that's the one endearing quality that i love about my wife wonderful all right so this thing the best i think coolest part about this chair is when you assemble it listen to this now put it back so we can hear it. Click. I mean, yeah, it's just brilliant. The ends are designed with this ball head and it really snaps into place with a great solid feel to it. So in, in um, comparison, the Ozark Trail is just a hook over loop. Yeah. Uh, and this one is, already, is permanently even... affixed. Mm -hmm. So you're extending the leg rather than stretching the fabric over the leg. Yeah, you never take the fabric off of the framework. Whereas right. these, the framework comes apart and then you wrap it up in the fabric. Correct. Uh, this is by far my favorite. Um, I mean, I just love the material. It's a fantastic product, but you know, it's 10 times, is it 10 times? 25 to 160. <laughs> Divided by 73. It was my understanding by that there would be no math. It's $135 more expensive than a $25 chair. Yeah. Is that right, math? $160. Now, where's it made? Where is it made? That makes a big difference I to a lot of people. I honestly don't know. Well, if, if you, you guys, if, the you, bag. if you get, I know this one's probably, I know where that oh, well, is. Oh, that's Walmart. Uh, well, you, you can assume that that's where it's made. Is you would have to. Over there, you know, that other place. I would think so. But if you don't, if you by any chance know, let us know well, if these are made it. in the USA or something. We, that's one item we didn't look up. I'm sorry, but help, help us out. Pause. Let's actually find out. I was trying to get a comment. I hear you. Ozark is made in. I don't want to tell you, but. You know, 99% chance it's assume, made in China, right? Yeah. We, and I don't have anything, you know, necessarily nothing. against buying something from Walmart made in China. But that is a good factor for some people's buying decisions. This is made in Dover, New Hampshire. And I am wearing the USA, you know, so I um, kind of, you know. Yeah, yeah, Yes, yeah. I did buy that one. Yeah. It's $25. It is what it is. Yeah. I but, wish that the USA could make some stuff for $25. That's all I'm saying. Can we get yeah, on that, please? Yeah. But this one's made in Dover. Yeah. Do we know where this one's made? We don't. Hmm. Stand by. Designed in Santa Barbara. Designed. It's a dead giveaway. 
they don't say where it's made. Not that I could find. Really Maybe you as a viewer happen to know. If you have some inside information, let us know where they're actually manufactured. They're all good products, but I'm just telling you, I don't know. For my money, this is the best product out there. So, that's that. There's one problem with this whole setup. What's that? We've done you in this chair, me in that chair. Okay. You in that chair, me in this chair. Yep. We have not done this yet. That's true. So, <laughs> so with that, we would like for you to hit the like and subscribe button, ring the bell, get the notifications, share it to your friends, and let us know which camp chair you have. Do you have a love-hate relationship with your motorcycle? At the end of this video, visit our store where we know exactly how you feel.